There have been some royal visits here and I can see out of the corner of my eye, oh my goodness, there certainly have. We've got King John around 1200. We have King Henry III, 1250. And then there's a big gap. <laughs> we have Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, visited here, Sir Winston Churchill, the Prince of Wales. So I'm very interested to find out more about these later visits in particular. Welcome back to the drawing room here at Mapperton. And this time in my travels, I visited the wonderful Cern Abbey. It's the most beautiful historic house. It's nestled in the enchanting village of Cern Abbas, and Cern Abbas is here in Dorset. For the past 50 years or so, it's been the family home of Michael and Barbara Fulford Dobson. And Michael served in the Royal Navy for, can you believe this, 36 years. And Barbara is a brilliant artist. The Cern Abbey is where they raise their three children and really where they have lovingly and respectfully cared for a piece of England's architectural heritage with, might I add, monastic roots dating back to 987. The bonus here though is the family are friends of ours. So I was really, really excited to see them again. Right, heading to see Jessica and her wonderful parents. Quite a knocker. <laughs> Hope you heard that. I think I did. <laughs> so I get a bit stuck. Hello. Hello, Jean. hello, hello. hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, well, wonderful. Finally, you're here. Yeah, I'm finally here, and what, that's impressive. Yeah, no, it, well, you, yeah, like yeah. these things, they echo around a bit, but they, it's a handle you've you got to be a little me. careful with. <laughs> Can get a bit dicky. Like everything. Yeah. Everything in these historic houses. Once inside Cern Abbey, I headed straight to the kitchen where I found Michael and Barbara, and they had a cup of coffee waiting for me. So, come on through. Okay. We'll get Brilliant. the mid-flow with the frothing of the milk. Now what we got, oh, here we go. <gasps> the Capitano <laughs> and his Mrs. Julie. Remember Julie? Hello. My favorite couple. <laughs> you are my favorite couple. You know that. Hello. It's mm. lovely to see you. Thank nice you for coming. Hello, and what Barbara. about me? You, you're my favorite <laughs> woman ever, <laughs> ever, ever. How Look, brilliant. Coffee. I'm doing some cappuccino. Would you like that? Yeah, I would love that. That is brilliant. So I've, I, you know, I've just arrived. And do you know, I can't believe that I've never been here. I've seen you so many times at Re Mapperton, yeah. drinks party, yeah. all of that but I've never been here, so this is God. a real treat. Well, I'm so oh. pleased. And beautiful to drive through the village. Thank you very, right. very well, much. I, I'm ready um, to pour. Stand really by. boring. Might I add that you're also the best dressed couple. <laughs> I'll, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, you are. So if you haven't seen the rest yet. <laughs> <laughs> so. With our cappuccinos in hand, we then settled by the fire in the hall. But let's be honest here, everybody knows I have an obsession with all things royal, so I couldn't help but ask about the royal visits to Cern Abbey over the years. When I walked up the path there, I saw several royal visits, including a prime minister, so Winston Churchill yes. has been here. The Queen Mother has been here. The Prince of Wales, who's now the king, who then... Well, yes, we, that was very uh, funny yes, the seeing Prince the of village Wales activity. Came. We had him here. Uh, in fact, there's a picture of him over there. Right. Take, taken here, which was uh, lovely. And we've also had the Wessexes. You have the Wessexes. Uh, West they came for lunch one day. Why did, well now, King Charles III come back? Um, because I was Lord Lieutenant at the time. Right. And uh, he came to Sir Nabus to do something in one of the uh, houses here. 
and um, he needed to be entertained in between uh, venues. Right. And so he came to us, sat in the drawing room and... Powdered his nose when he wanted it, to Had his cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do make a very good yeah. cappuccino, so I'm sure he thoroughly enjoyed that. Yes. But also, Dad, um, we, we are trying to get him to write his memoirs, which he gets a bit shy about, but you were f from I'm flag I'm not very good to lord lieutenant. <laughs> so he gets a bit shy thinking, oh, I can't mm. write. Mm. But I think... Um, yeah, I always find it very interesting and recently they went, uh, they were, I don't know how one puts it when you're invited to someone's funeral, but the Queen's um, uh, we went to, We were invited to the interment service in Windsor. Right. Uh, Which is obviously quite a unique yeah. um, thing to be. But that arose because um, I'm what's called a gentleman usher. And the Queen has got, uh, or the King now, um, ten people who are four from the army, three from the navy, three from the Royal Air Force. And uh, they are the catalysts that acts between the royals and the public. Right. So for example, at a royal garden party, every member of the royal family has one of us with them oh my to goodness. look after them and produ produce people to be introduced and that sort of thing. We do all sorts of other things. For example, I was in charge of all the bridesmaids and the pages at the York wedding. Of all, of all the things. <laughs> Which was quite... Uh, right. And, and then, then I suppose, and going but, from one extreme to the other, Princess Diana's funeral as well. You yes, attended that. Yes. You? Did you? All that, yes. I mean, because that mm. must have been extraordinary. Yes, my job then was to load the royal family at Buckingham Palace and send them off to Westminster. For the uh, funeral of Prince Diana. For the funeral, right. yes. Right. Uh, no, they, they, they were extraordinary occasions to be um, involved in, as you can imagine. Uh, of course. But I, I find, uh, looking back on it, I've served the Queen three times. First for 36 years in the Navy. Mm. Um, I was the, the day I retired from the Navy, I got home here and there was a rather interesting letter in a rather good quality envelope awaiting me. And it was from Lord Airlie, who was the Lord Chamberlain at the time. And in it he said, if you feel you'd like to do some duties in the royal household, will you come and see me? Well, I was on the next train up to London <laughs> and I went and saw him and he said, you know, the idea is that you'll become one of the gentleman ushers. But anyway, that was, that was my second time of serving him. Um, and then, of course, I served uh, as Lord Lieutenant here in Dorset. Yes. Uh, so uh, I've, I've had a good innings one way or another. You certainly have. It was absolutely fascinating to hear from Michael about his lifetime of service to Her Majesty the Queen. And I felt really privileged and honored when he offered to show me some of the medals that he had been awarded. Now this is my, I'm a Knight of the Order of St. John. Fantastic. And that is the, the star that goes here, and that's the bit that goes round the neck. Right. And why were you presented with this, given this? Well, I don't quite know. I think it was not long after I became Lord Lieutenant. Mm. Um, I was invited to become a Knight of the Order. My CVO, which is, this is the one that was given to me personally by the Queen. By the Queen. And yeah. this is the Commander... Of, of, the of the Royal Victorian Order. Order. Right. Yes. And to receive that from the Queen, I mean, that is yes. quite extraordinary, isn't yes. it? <gasps> it's yes. so beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And then over here, of course, now I that's see the, that's the Royal the, Coat that's, of Arms. That's the, the Lord Lieutenant stuff. Uh, right. Should uh, I just have yeah, a little... Yeah. yeah. That's a seal and a half, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Uh, and the ER right there. Yeah. And Queen, wow. 
That's extraordinary. Look at there. That yeah. is Queen Elizabeth. Is that? Yeah, it yes, is. it is. Yeah. yeah. And on the other yeah. side. Yeah. Yes. And then if we take this off. And, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So this was um, the fourth day of August in the 48th year of the Queen's reign. Is that right? That's right, yes. And by worn under the Queen's sign manual. Beautiful. And then something so special happened. This is the order of service for the Queen's committal in St. George's Chapel, Windsor. Incredible. Uh, which we were privileged to attend. Yes, because uh, it was just a small group, wasn't it? Yes, it was, it was m almost entirely people who worked in the household. Right, yes. And it was... <gasps> Here it is, ceremonial um, for the state funeral of Her Majesty, the committal service. It's uh, The wow. detail is fantastic, isn't it? The detail is just unbelievably fantastic. Oh, I could just sit here for hours. Well, thank we you are. very, very yeah. much. I feel that's privileged. That's all I've got to show. No, that's, but that's incredible. I feel so privileged oh, in being oh, able to, oh. to hear the stories, but also to yeah. see this marvelous oh. collection of memories. Yes, and they that, are. That not many oh. people in the world no. can boast about. No, no. <laughs> Honestly, it was so amazing to hear about that incredible yet sad day in September 2022, the funeral of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. I mean, just to think, to have actually been there in St. George's Chapel. Unbelievable. And really, with Michael's unique perspective, I was keen to then ask him about the new era of the British monarchy with, of course, King Charles III. Do you feel, you know, with the Queen having served for 70 years, of course there's that sense of loss, but we're now moving into a new era. We're moving into, you know, uh, Charles, King Charles III. Yes. Of course Charles can't replicate what the Queen mm. has done, but he can carry on and... Yes. And... Well, um... I've got to know him quite well over the years because I've helped look after him on various occasions. Um, and I have the highest regard for him and I think he'll do a splendid job. It'll be different. Yes. Uh, but I think he's perfect. Yeah, I do too. Uh, and I think he'll, he'll uh, do the job exactly as it's required. Mm. I mean, he's a, uh, by all accounts, he's a, he's a thinking man, he's a writing man. Yes. And uh, I think the w way he'll conduct it will be absolutely fine. So yes. I've got high hopes. Yes. You know, it's, a, it's a change of gear. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, you expect that after 70 years. It's a, of course. It has course. to come. And, yes. And, and I, I think he'll be splendid. And here on the American Viscountess channel, guess what? We will be celebrating the coronation of King Charles III with two special episodes. So be sure to subscribe, like, turn your notifications on, and watch out for those episodes. As with so many of the historic homes that I visit around the UK, each owner really does make their mark. And there's one room at Cern Abbey, which really does speak of Barbara and Michael's life together. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. How lovely. Now, now these are all Barbara's pictures including the self-portrait. The self-portrait <laughs> is, I mean, it is beautiful. These yeah. are, and... That's her mother. That's her mother. And just, and the, the landscape, these are fantastic. Yes. And then, oop, I've just spotted the queen there. Yes. Yes, now, where is this? I'm not sure where it was taken. It was on a visit somewhere. Oh, it's so nice to come into a home, like, you know, yes. Surin Abbey, and it's, yes, it's got its, you know, roots back to 980 
seven, yeah. and but yet it's this lived-in family home with absolutely with um, you know paintings and, and all the model that goes with it. Exactly. Now yeah. he now, looks rather familiar. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that was the painting that was done for the Naval and Military Club, uh, whose president he was, and I sat as the body for the <gasps> painting of the picture. You sat wearing as the body. that jacket. Wearing that jacket, and it does say here, "Fulford Dobson's body!" Yes. Exclamation point. <laughs> it's a rather fine uh, picture, isn't it? It is good. Yes. It is very, very good. Yeah. Very good. Oh my goodness. But so you wore. So this is you, sort of neck down. Is That's that right? right? Yes. Hands and all. Yeah. Right. Is there any distinguished features here? No, the, yeah. the only one is my bent finger. Right. <laughs> which is just there. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that bent finger. Yep. There it that, is. There there it is. And did they tell you that that would... That, that, there yes, are. there you are. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly it. <laughs> that is brilliant. So when you were... So you sat in... It, in his study in Buckingham Palace. Right. For how many hours? I probably did about 20 hours altogether. Right. And did he ever come in? Yes, he came in occasionally just to see how it was going. going. And then he must have sat in for some of it. Because yes, we he have... did. Yes, he, right. he started it and finished it, really. Right. Oh, thank you, Michael. This mm. is just tremendous to see this and beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's really you and Barbara in this room together. Yes, it this, is a bit. Yeah, it yes. is. Yes. And that's what's so wonderful. All around the house, Barbara's artistic vision is plain to see. It's everywhere. And her work is stunning. But as many artists, Barbara is rather self-effacing and a little reticent to speak about her work. But she did invite me into her most sacred space, her studio. And there she told me about her childhood during the Second World War and how she really transformed the studio into her haven. So Barbara, yes. I've just walked into your studio, oh, yeah. having just left beautiful, you know, Cern Abbey. Abbey, and uh, with all of its historic, of course, historic elements. But then I come in here, and I feel that this is your space. Yes. You've created this space. Yes. Tell me just a little bit about what happened when you saw this space. What was it like before you converted it, and what was your vision in creating what it is today? How many hours have you got? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> no, all I remember is that when we came, this was completely robbed right across for cards, and then the rest was all, you know, Con concrete. Right. Because basically the top part wasn't there. Right. The, yes, the, I mean, it was, was all on the ground, really. Right. A she, shell. A right. shell. Yes. And so anyway, we sorted it out. And you that sorted was it. But yes. was this a dream for you? Because a little bit of your background, you're an artist, and I've walked in here, and I see, I've seen a lot of your pictures are Italy, and I have a love of Italy myself, mm. and it, it, clearly you do as well. But you are Italian. Yes. I would, if I could take this to Italy, it yes. would be perfect. <laughs> right. <laughs> Being a mother of yes. three young girls yes. here, yes. was this your way to escape? Did you feel that you came here and you were able to create an escape? Because I know I'm a mother of four, yes. and it's hard. And yes. did you feel that this studio... Well, no, it helped me to go to something different, you yes. see, and yes. to forget about them. Yes. Not that I didn't want to be a good mother, no, but no, you no, know. No, no, of course not. But, um, to, but to have space for you. Mm. Create that space of Italy I, with your parents. Yes, you. yes, yes, yes. So, Barbara, now yes. tell me just a little bit about this painting here. It's 
Oh, I that. Oh, walked yes, that in was. and I loved it. Oh. Because, do you know what, it reminded me. Because you'd never had a thing like it. Because it reminded me of me, a mother of four really? with children. So tell me about this. It's, it's a work of art. Well, <laughs> I was not feeling in a very good form, I can tell you that much. And the children, you know, she was whining for food. And um, here was all the things that I hadn't made money for, you yep, know, and bills, I, I owed, it. I, owed yep. it, I owed it all that. She hadn't eaten for some time, <laughs> right. I'd got my thing there, and all he could do was say, just leave me alone, <laughs> leave me alone. The child going, oh, mummy, I haven't had anything to eat, and look, it's only nine o'clock, oh, will you just have to wait, you see? Yes. That's yep. it. Your art is magnificent. Oh, it's my goodness, I mean, it's a pity you didn't ten, ten years ago or something. <laughs> but it is. And would you say that this, it, out of all of your pieces, mm. what is, for you, what is your most special? Oh, I for don't, you? I think almost that, really, because it was, it, it, it meant so many children or men or women would be, have had that feeling. But I have to tell you, nobody could have done anything like could when I started that. Nothing, because I remember my mother saying, well, just get a piece of paper and do it. And I go, oh, here's a paper and things. And it was quite extraordinary. She said, I'm not going to help you. She said, but I'm going to say things that you should try and do. She said, and then I might sort of think. And <gasps> if she hadn't done that, I would never have touched it. Never. No. Because I never thought that I could. Nobody had ever said that. So your anything. mother encouraged you oh, yes. to become the artist that you are today. Well, you yeah, well yes. Yes. Well, yes. Well, or I got sort of at that. Yeah. Yes. She was a war. She was, she was having bombs dropping off her over and thing. We were, we, right. we were in the middle of it. Yes, at incredible. The same time. But yet you she's know. encouraging her daughter, you, yes. Yes. to become. Well, she said, if you get something like that, it'll be something that you can have for your life and you'll never regret it. <gasps> oh. That's Which I suppose is true yeah. because that brings tears to my eyes. But because, <laughs> no, no, no. So, oh. <laughs> but she was a lovely mother, yeah. wasn't oh. she? Oh, we lucky with our lovely she's mommy. So yes, that's yes, such. She but was. she's that is lovely. <laughs> yeah, but she's dead, oh. unfortunately. I know, I know. She's probably in a better place. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. <laughs>